as elusive as the Loch Ness Monster, but maybe not as famous, is a legendary sea serpent said to inhabit the waters of the Pacific Northwest. Today, there has been no actual hard evidence that this sea monster exists, but that might have just changed. 2009, Nushagak Bay, Alaska. Salmon fisherman Kelly Nash is on a boat with his sons, Jason and Kyle, when suddenly they spot unusual movement in the water next to them and start recording this video. The shaky black and white footage shows what appears to be a long, dark, serpentine creature with humps on its back moving rapidly through the water. Now watch, its head's gonna pop up. Check this out. It's blue. Let's look at that again. Kelly estimates the massive creature to be about 20 to 30 feet long. While this footage is curiously unique, it may actually be showing us a clearer view of a legendary creature, a cryptid as they're known, that's been widely reported before. Field researcher Ken Gerhardt explains. Cadborosaurus, or caddy, is a mysterious sea creature that's been reported off the coast of Pacific North America. The name is associated with the location where it's most been seen, which is Cadboro Bay, British Columbia. Cadborosaurus is generally described as an immense serpentine animal, anywhere from 60 to 100 feet in length, with a horse-like head, sharp fish-like teeth, giant forward-facing eyes. There have been more than 300 sightings of caddy over the past 200 years, including one case in the 1930s that may have produced actual physical evidence of the creature. During the summer of 1937, off the coast of British Columbia, there was a strange animal that was found in the stomach of a sperm whale. This animal popped out that was snake-like in form, had a horse-like head, two flippers, and a fluke tail. The man in charge actually had these workers take some photographs of it. Subsequently, this became known as the Naden Harbor Carcass. In my opinion, this is the same animal that we see in this video. But there are other theories as well, that perhaps we could be looking at a primitive type of snake-like whale known as a basilosaur. The basilosaur, or basilosaurus, was a fearsome predatory whale which swam the oceans nearly 40 million years ago. And while scientists first described this as a giant reptile, further research determined it to be a marine mammal, one that could grow up to 65 feet in length. Could this be the same creature? There have been hundreds, if not thousands, of eyewitness accounts, so I think that we could build a pretty strong case that this animal really does exist. Right after this video was revealed, two Cadborosaurus researchers went to visit the Nash family, who shot this footage. They claimed the creature fully lifted its head out of the water and even turned to face their camcorder. But of course, that piece of evidence isn't on this recording. Let's see what our experts have to say about the evidence that remains. We first wanted to check the authenticity of this tape so we brought it to forensic video analyst Michael Primo. This video has indications that it was uh, enhanced. It has processing uh, done to enlarge it as well as stabilize it. There's too many unknown variables here to actually arrive at some sort of accurate conclusion because the video has been enhanced. So there's already a red flag. But to be fair, we spoke with marine biologist Shay Steingas. She first looks at this creature's possible connection with the prehistoric Basilosaurus. I don't think that's what we're looking at because the body type of the basilosaur was actually pretty solid. It wasn't a snake-like animal. However, Steingas believes this creature does have more in common with the marine mammal basilosaurus than the supposed reptile corpse from Naden Harbor. Nushagak Bay is part of a polar Arctic environment, very cold environments to live in. It's very unlikely that any kind of reptile-like animal, especially this size, would be existing in Nushagak Bay. The animals that thrive here are typically either fish, invertebrates that live on the bottom, or marine mammals. There's really no reptiles or snakes that this could be mistaken for. Many online critics claim we are just looking at some piece of trash or floating debris. But the dozens of tech people and fishermen who have studied this video can't explain how debris could move in such an organic way. 
Other skeptics have suggested this could be a formation of seals, or possibly a known giant animal like an oarfish or a giant eel. But surprisingly, Steingas is doubtful. The oarfish has these beautiful dorsal fins that help them be more hydrodynamic as they swim. And we don't see that here. This animal doesn't really seem to have any clear anatomy. Another really popular theory is that this is some kind of a giant eel. And frankly, there's no species of eel that would be quite this size in Nushagak Bay. And as far as seals go, Stein Gas says it's unlikely, since seals don't typically swim in linear groups, nor would they keep their heads submerged while exposing other parts of their body. So with all of these potential possibilities ruled out, does Stein Gas have any idea what this is? Unfortunately, like many who have chased Caddy's tail, she's stumped. This is really interesting footage, and part of the charm of it for me is that it's difficult to tell exactly what we're looking at. So this might be one of those classic sea monster videos that's gonna stick around for a long time. Our verdict, possible cryptid. If the video is legit, and yes, that's an if, whatever this thing is has stumped our ace marine biologist. People have been looking at this footage since 2009, and to this day, it remains a mystery. But you can be sure, if any more footage of Caddy comes our way, you'll see it here first.